It's been about five days. I apologize on the no uploads. I had to catch up on, well, life. Not gonna lie, daily uploads takes its toll. But I'm back and not with any sort of good news because there's been, man, probably the biggest exploit in NBA 2K history and it's just being discovered today for a lot of new people. So as quickly as NBA 2K21 started, uh, it seems like unless something is done ASAP and we don't know what the update is with patch three, it's a wrap. Y'all new to the channel, man, you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. On the way to two mil, man, sub up. Uh, we used to do daily uploads. <laughs> I'm not making any more promises. Man, oh man, NBA 2K21 current gen. To be fair, next gen is about a month and a half away. So we don't have that much longer to go. But, oh man, is 2K have it in? Cause not only are they probably scrambling right now to finish next gen, but I don't know what they're about to do for current gen. Uh, patch three, Mike Wang told us two weeks ago was still in production. We don't know what the update is there. Nobody has seen a patch three. Fades are still hitting at an alarming rate. And now everybody in the NBA 2K community is calling for shot aiming to be removed. That because of a new exploit released by this Twitter account called NBA 2K China Pro-Am League. And I'm not even gonna say nothing, I'm just gonna show y'all. And if you look very carefully, you can see a perfectly timed jump shot off of an L1 click. I'm gonna be very honest with y'all, I had a similar idea a couple years back where I wanted to get a modded controller, write the script for it, and just play in the park to get crazy reactions. But then I figured that it was against TOS and I didn't wanna get banned for doing something like that. So I stopped. But this is not new though. This has existed for a while. People are just now learning how to apply it to 2K. Because NBA 2K Lab has modded controllers. That's how they do their tests to give us all the numbers. This is just the first example of somebody with a modded controller using it in a way um, which breaks the game. Here's the thing though, and here's why I think uh, people shouldn't spam to worry off rip. Although shot aiming right now is still kind of broken, true. The good thing about 2K is that it's so broken that this might not be a game breaker, which sounds weird, but hear me out. Okay, in 2K, they don't show us the ping number and there's variable latency. How these controllers work is they allow you to just, uh, it's like, it gives you a shortcut. You click L1 and it's gonna time the square button for 78 milliseconds. You can time it to be whatever you want. And the timing is gonna depend based on your jump shot, but also, but also based on whether or not you're online. And the good thing about 2K is the servers are garbage do we know that guys yes one game you're playing low latency it feels good it feels smooth next game it feels like you're running through molasses he would have to change the script for every game he plays because the latency goes from 200 to 150 to 250 and there's no way for this script to adjust to that there just isn't actually there might be if, if they had like the game code but they don't have that so I'm not rushing to get worried but it has alarmed a whole lot of people in the NBA 2k community because man 2k there has to be some kind of solution here. If somebody releases at the same millisecond five times in a row, ban him. Cause that's not humanly possible, right? You, you're, by the millisecond, five times in a row? Oh man. And uh, if the PC has been any indication, NBA 2K has absolutely zero ability to catch hackers. Their reporting system is almost non-existent. So I'm praying that this hack right here isn't effective online. If people want to use it offline, by all means, enjoy yourself. But if you're using it online and it's effective, 2K, I don't, you're gonna have to, you might just have to hire more people. Cause the next gen team is probably scrambling. That game is probably a disaster right now. They're trying to put it together and polish it up. But people had reactions. Cause as the news began to grow on Twitter, obviously the idea of someone being able to time their jump shot perfectly every single time is crazy. You could just run around with like a 60 open shot three with the modded controller and hit everything. If you use a modded controller on 2K, a virtual basketball game, a virtual basketball game that isn't even next gen, but current gen, you are without a doubt 100% a virgin. All right. <laughs> Power says one of the worst ideas 2K ever did was add shot aiming into the game. Should be completely removed. Yo, I'm telling you the concept, if it's done correctly, would add so much to the game. But as evident, it hasn't been done correctly. And honestly, I feel like there's so many people working on the next gen version of the game. They don't even they don't even have enough people to make sure this is implemented correctly for current gen. Or even worse, what they might do is be like, we've made some improvements to the shot aiming system for next gen. <laughs> and not even updated on current gen. Dudes on PS4 are buying auto green controllers to win events. LMAO 
it ain't never that serious. Yo, bro, if this starts where this works online, it is a rap fellas. It's a wrap. And it's gonna be very unfortunate because if I have like a fantastic shooting performance, people are gonna start blaming me for modding. Or it's gonna go happy everywhere. There's gonna be fingers pointed like, hey, you just went five for five from three, which is possible if you're a great player, but it also means you might be hacking. He's hacking. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, man. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of you guys probably don't PC game. I PC game all the time and aimbot exists on PC games in every imaginable PC game telling you. I'm not good enough to always get blamed for aimbot, but there are times where I just had a fantastic performance and then people were like, uh, that character right there was aimbot. Well, it's, it's came to consoles, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, the biggest negative about playing on PC that everybody said won't exist on the consoles made its way onto consoles, man. Well, I guess it was always on consoles. Uh, it's just now being discovered in 2K. Hmm. Nadex put out a tweet urging 2K to remove shot aiming. Hank the Tank says people are really using a literal aimbot on 2K21 with a whole gang of crying laughing emojis. David says people aimbotting on 21, streets are done. I don't even know what the fix is for this, 2K. Like I could guess, but it probably won't fix 100% of the situations. This just might be how we have to play 2K from now on. Can you even do wagers anymore if there is the the threat? You would I would literally need you to live stream with the camera on your controller just to make sure you're doing this legitimately. I don't even know if like the 116 point game prime game I dropped, I'm gonna leave a link in the description at an end at an end screen. I can't even do things like that no more because people is literally Actually, no, that's a lie, because I shot like 72%. You can't be with a modded controller shooting 72%, right? So as long as you don't shoot 100%, you're probably good. But can't they just adjust for that? Like, it's, it's a pretty bad script. Like, I'd be, be like, every seventh shot make me miss or something. Yeah, it's a wrap. I'm letting you know right now, I, I, I've, been a, I've been a goddamn Rainbow Six player for a long ass time, right? And I've been seeing Ubisoft talk about how prolific their goddamn hacker cheating catch software is for all these years. And still I run into people with aimbot and wall hacks. So I, hey, hey, that's the reality of video games on PC. I hope it's not the reality on consoles. It was the one positive on playing on console for me personally. All right, 2K, you have to listen very carefully to what I'm about to say next. You guys can really fuck up this year. Right? Hey, we'll leave keeping that swear word because I really meant it when I said it. You guys, right now, current gen has the potential to be a solid game. Everybody saw that in the first week. The, the type of positive feedback I seen in the first week, I didn't expect across the community. But right now, you're on pace to seriously mess it up. Pay attention. What you need to do is immediately hire more people. This needs to happen immediately. There needs to be no hesitation with this decision. You need to do it. The next gen game, I want it to blow my mind. And it's not gonna blow my mind if you now have to pull people off of that game to work on this new exploit that everybody just discovered on current gen, right? On top of that, we need some kind of update, man. We're, but I don't even really wanna be, that last week I've barely been playing cause I don't wanna hop on and lose to play shots fading in my face with bad timing still hitting shots. Don't want to do that. So I need to update on what's going on with patch three. Has it been submitted? Should we expect it in the next week? Is it ever going to drop? There's about a month and a half left in this current gen before the next gen comes out. And already we feel like they've given like dude, zero. Ah, silence. Immediately. Silence. It's a month into the game's life. Not even a month yet. On top of that, we still haven't addressed the very big problem that people are having, especially those who play on the two of not being able to get games. We know what the solution is. Clearly it's ranked unranked. That's obvious. That's been clear to everybody since day one and it hasn't been implemented. Will it be implemented? Probably not. But there needs to be some kind of solution because I'm telling you right now, no one's gonna wanna hop on the park to play two games an hour or one game every 45 minutes. It's not gonna happen. And those things I just said are simple fixes. So the fact that they haven't been already completed is concerning to me personally, because it would make the experience of playing the game infinitely better. That and better servers. Obviously the servers, especially on the park, have been god awful this year. Probably the worst servers I've seen in any 2K next to NBA 2K17. But the gameplay in and of itself is solid. When I'm playing with my friends, I can enjoy my time with my friends until a fade in my face with bad timing hits and it frustrates me until the servers lag out one of my friends and I'm playing 
thing with 300 millisecond ping and that frustrates me. It's just small, easy, fixable things that if you hired more people could have been fixed that's getting in the way of me enjoying this game. I'm telling you. So uh, at this point now, I'm really looking forward to next gen because I can't just sit here and reasonably expect 2K to fix all those problems. And now this huge, massive problem of hacked controllers online. I have no faith that they're gonna be able to complete this without it being an absolute disaster because I've been playing 2K for now over a decade and I know how things go here. Delaying still exists and 2K hasn't done a single thing about that, so the chances they do something about this, I'm not gonna lie, is looking slim. But hey man, here's to hoping. 2K fix all those things, update us on patch three. Are they gonna do any of those things? Who knows, but this is me asking because we're lost right now. And I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of people that's about to put down their controller if we're about to find out that you could just automatically green shots by clicking the L1 button. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I I'm gonna drop a video tomorrow, and I think I'm gonna start going daily on the second, or at least every other day by minimum. So subscribe to that, top link in the description. And my 116 point Prime game is right here. Watch that. Catch you guys in the next one.